Hi everybody. Happy Friday. I love Friday. I don't even have a real job and I love Friday because everyone else loves Fridays and it's exciting. And especially right now because Fridays right now are DIY Fridays. And that's my jam for those of you that know me. I'm all about the DIY. So Tara just posted um, a really informative graphic and some information about allergies, which I don't know about where you live, but in Chico today it's windy and sunny, which is like a sure sign of pollen in the air and I know so many people suffer from this type of seasonal um, reaction. I am so blessed so far to not, I know it can jump in at any time, but so far in my life I have not had to deal with this, but um, doing the work I do with the oils and knowing how many people out there have this reaction, I have talk to so many people that benefit from this allergy trio that um, Tara posted about. So I just wanted to hop on and do a quick little DIY to show you guys how easy it is to make your own um, little roller, an allergy roller. And if you have your starter kit and nothing else, you're in luck because all three of the oils that we use for the allergy roller come in the starter kit. How cool is that? So I'm gonna make this in a five mil this is an old bottle of RC. It's not that old, I just finished. In fact, there's still a few drops of RC in there. And RC is really great for helping with um, bronchial support and like opening the chest. So I'm gonna leave it in there. Whoever wins is getting a, a bonus few drops of RC. <laughs> um, anyway, so typically with a roller that I want to use in a, more, in a more like medical way, I feel like it's better to have a like air on the side of, of stronger potency. So if this was a 10 milliliter bottle, I would probably be doing upwards of 50 drops. So that's like five drops a mil, and this is five mil. So that would be 25 drops in here. But since there's a few drops of RC, I'm just gonna do eight drops of each of the three. So you'll actually get a little bonus. Um, so it's just this easy. Grab your lavender. Lavender is a natural antihistamine. So it helps reduce our body's reaction to all that stuff that's going on. Eight. I'm getting really good at counting while I'm talking. It's an acquired skill. Um, lemon is, uh, whoa, very fast is what lemon is. Lemon is, um, a detox detoxifier as we know and it actually so the lymph in our body is kind of like the garbage man like they go in and make sure that we're getting rid of all the stuff we don't need and lemon would be like gas in the garbage truck like it helps the lymph get the stuff out so it's really great when your body is um, responding to the allergies and like having kind of a reaction to just pull that stuff out that's what the lemons for peppermint is the anti-inflammatory. It helps reduce all of the reaction that your body's gonna have. And it's also an antispasmodic, which means when your body wants to cough and react really strongly, um, peppermint will keep it from doing that. It'll kind of subside that like reaction to have that spasm and also um, reduce inflammation and open your airways. So it's easier for you to breathe. Hi, hi Tammy. Um, easier for you to kind of get all of the sinus opening and whatnot. So that's it. I just put eight drops of each of those in a little five mil. I've got my handy dandy little um, FCO pumper. Fractionated coconut oil is a great base. I think I might even have a little bit of sweet almond oil mixed in there, but honestly, any carrier oil is fine. I am using one of the super cool Young Living Aroma Glide caps on this. They work so well on these five mils. So you just set the thing in there. Don't wrestle with it because it's not meant to get pushed on. Then you take the cap and you just twist it and it'll kind of make a little click or a pop, and you know that it's on there. So this is it, and you can just carry this around in your purse, and I would recommend the carotid artery is a really great place to apply oils, um, especially for things having to do with head. So carotid artery behind the ears, you could even apply a little bit to the temples and the upper cheekbone. Be careful because of peppermint, don't get it too close to the eyes because it'll burn. You can also apply um, back of the neck, base of the skull. And I guess that's all I wanted to say. So I want to give this away to um, 
someone who comments on this video and of course I will be coming on and making I don't know I don't even know what I'm gonna make yet but I know it's gonna be at least a couple more goodies today because there's so many um, products that I make for myself that I want to share with you guys how easy they are to make so okay I'll see you soon <laughs> enjoy your afternoon bye guys <laughs>